So, uh, this video is going to be a little guide to the new place in Arcane River called Reverse City. Uh, this place is for 205 and above. So, once you hit 205, you could reach this new map. So, we're going to start off with the pros and cons of Reverse City. Pros, every map is a great map. Um, another pro, it's pretty short. If you can one-shot the monsters, it's not even that bad. Another pro is that it's going to probably be an alternative training spot other than Vanishing Journey. So, you probably might get some more maps now from training from 200 to 210. So, that's pretty nice. Cons, the rewards, in my opinion, uh, it's just uh, like, what's like... 20 symbols and a free hat is like meh. Um, another con is that the boss is pretty annoying to deal with. I could see people struggling if they're not strong enough and not have enough range. So yeah, that's going to be pretty annoying. Another con is that once you get there, your mind is going to be hella tripped out. Um, you might like it. I personally don't like it. So yeah, over time, you're going to get used to it. And you know, eh, the reverse thing ain't that bad. So, and yeah, that's about it for the pros and cons. Is it worth doing? I would definitely say it's worth doing. Um, it's not even that long, and it, you know, and you could you could get these twenty symbols for free. So yeah, that's pretty nice. And yeah, if you like story in general, this is pretty nice, pretty good backstory to you know all the stuff that might be going on sooner or later in Maple Story. So how do we get to this new place, Reversity? First of all, you need to be two hundred five, and once you hit two hundred five, there's gonna be this guy in our Vanishing Journey with you know the light bulb appearing on top of his head. Talk to him. In. He gives you a walkie-talkie, and then you take the portal and right there, right next to the right of him, and there you go. You're in university now. After that, there's going to be a few cutscenes that you have to go through. It ain't that bad. So, mostly, um, completing reverse city took me about, like, 30 minutes, like, maximum. Um, it's not that bad, especially when I can one-shot the monsters. Especially since I can one-shot the monsters. But if you guys can't one-shot the monsters, it might take you a little bit longer. Probably like 40, 50 minutes. I don't know. So once you get here, there's going to be a lot of cutscenes. Cutscenes take up a majority of the time. Cutscenes take a majority of the entire uh, time that you're going to spend here. Because, you know, I don't know. They like talking a lot. So, yeah. You're going to go through a lot of cutscenes. But the questions that you do here is not even that hard. The maps here are insane, by the way. So, first of all... Your first quest is going to be like pickup quests. Um, it's always like two pickup quests and then you kill 10 mon 100 monsters and then you do more pickup quests. They're pretty easy, not even that hard. Um, the drop rates are also pretty freaking good. The maps are also pretty good. So yeah, completing the quests don't even take, it takes like one, like, you know, two minutes, three minutes. So yeah, that's that for completing the quests. After that, you just go through the entire city until you reach the end and fight the boss. Um, there's going to be a little dungeon you guys have to do. Dungeon, the mobs are pretty darn strong for me. I couldn't even one-shot them. It took me like two, three, four shots. So yeah, those mobs are going to be pretty strong if you guys are just, you know, just hit 205. But yeah, this map is pretty cool. So every single map here is a really good training spot. If you're going to try having a training spot, these spots are pretty good. Um, spawn rate's also pretty nice. Compared to Tranquil Erdos, I think they have competition. Tranquil Orders are pretty nice, but the maps here, I think, are better if your Arcane Symbols, like Arcane Force, isn't strong enough to go to Tranquil Erdos. The maps here are pretty nice. I think, you know, if you have decent amount of range, you still go to Tranquil Erdos. But, yeah, these maps are nice, though. Very nice. Every single one of them. So, you could go to any of these maps if you want to train. The rewards that um, they give you after completing Reverse City is pretty, like, it's not that good, but eh, I take it anyways. It's 20 symbols and a free hat. Yeah, that's that, that's pretty much it um, for Reverse City. Mm, ain't nothing too special. So, um, now I'm going to talk to boss mechanics. Um, the boss has a few moves. None of the moves really one-shot you. Um, he has this blue move that um, if you stand near the little circle, you get knocked up into the air, like, you know, reverse gravity, whatever. Uh, and then he has his other move. It's like a green exploding thing. Hits you, you take a decent amount of damage, still won't one-shot you. But here comes the tricky part. The boss itself does not take damage. So, what I mean by this is that if you keep on whacking the boss, all your shots are going to become miss, 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 miss. Do you, you have to give around a five second gap in order to hit the boss again so every five seconds you hit the boss the damage you register onto the boss and you know the boss and the, and the boss would then take more damage 
when I first did it, I didn't know what the hell I was doing. So then I stopped whacking it for a second. It took me a, a pretty long time until I figured out how to actually kill him. So yeah, this is a so yeah, if you're not that strong, the bossing will be very annoying because you have to wait five seconds every single time, you know, you could start doing damage again. Yeah, that's my impression of Reverse City. Eh, this place is pretty darn good, ain't gonna lie. Training wise, definitely like, you know, S tier map. Um compared to Vanishing Journey, but all these maps are so good. Like Vanishing Journey has like one or two good maps. Uh this this place and every map is a good map. So yeah, if you wanna train here, this is definitely a good spot to train. Um, questline wise, isn't actually too bad. It's actually pretty fast compared to all the other prequests I did. This is actually not that bad. Most of it is just cutscenes. So yeah, if you like enjoying story, eh, it's pretty good. The boss is very annoying. I can see people struggling with it if don't if they're not that strong. Uh, other than that, I think this place is pretty damn nice. Yeah, this is gonna be a pretty short guide. So yeah, hope you guys enjoy. And as always, I'll catch you guys on next time. Peace.